and the battle 2023 20, powered by Puma in uh, lane number one we have Willoway, Atterbury, lane two Ed, Ed and Eddie, lane three Pit Viper, lane four V-Town, Old Busters, lane five Major, lane six Willoway, Triple D's, lane seven FSB Dominant, lane eight Reverse Oreo, lane nine Untamed Peacocks, lane ten Pure Laziness, lane eleven Donald Pump, Lane 12, Magic Mice on the Mechanic. Lane 13, Proform Pistols. Lane 14, ATG, No Prep. Lane 15, The Bold and the Beautiful. My producer and I enjoying that uh, Donald Pump in Lane 11. <laughs> and off they go. We have our scaled division in heat number two. Bit of confusion here. Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah. Oh, one athlete has to uh, go over to the line before they can start. You can see they all the athletes there at the back. Athlete three will be in the waiting area. They will have 24 synchronized toes to bar, and then they'll move on to their deadlifts. Sorry, they'll have legless. Then I move on to the, the deadlifts. Burpee to pull-ups. Everyone loves a burpee. And then you add a pull-up to it. See now they are onto those legless. Oh, it looks like they're allowed to use their feet as well. So apologies on that. They are allowed to use their feet. However, they get a scaled score for that, apparently. Or foundational score, should I say? DJ playing some odd music yet <laughs> at the battle. So here's an interesting one. We spoke about this this morning with Ruan, and uh, we said you are allowed to go singles on this. And as you can see here in. Uh, lane number 15, the bold and the beautiful, choosing to go singles on that, that deadlift, allowing two athletes to get a nice long break. But will that cost them in the long run? Obviously, the two men are going to cycle faster than a single, but uh, most teams still sticking with the double on those deadlifts. to the handstand walks for these athletes. You can see a couple of them wearing gloves. Last year, a lot of uh, the athletes were struggling with their hands because of the heat on the mats. So uh, I think a lot of athletes taking precaution there a little bit, making sure that they have gloves as well as for those rope climbs to protect those hands. Personally, if I'm doing rope climbs, uh, I prefer to, to not use any gloves. It does help a lot more uh, with your grip if you just have uh, your, your bare hands on that rope. Sometimes those gloves can uh, slip and slide in your hands, uh, slipping and sliding inside. You can see they're getting no rep, going back to the yellow line. Remember, they have to cross the line with both hands before moving on. And if they don't do that, they will start back at the previous line. As he comes down, you'll see he'll go back, or it looks like he's gonna tag out and get someone else to do it for him. So he'll have to get all the way back, and then uh, only once he passes the line can the next athlete go back into those handstand walks. Gets past that yellow line, is he gonna try, he wanted to go through it, looked like it. 
wanted an unbroken set there but not able to do so and almost taking our cameraman out there great rope climb here legless both hands over the blue line gets it done down he comes so uh, a little bit different here so if you watched uh, the alpaca at the games they had to have uh, themselves seated on the floor and their heels had to go off the floor before uh, their bums could lift off the floor so basically making sure that those hip flexors are nicely engaged the core is engaged big wobble there and uh, he comes down forces his way over he looks like he's going for the unbroken he does gets both hands <laughs> that looked like a very very tired handstand walk there but he got it done onto those uh, synchronized toes to bar once again And uh, no rep there. Remember, they have to sink at the top. Their feet they have to touch the bar at the same time. If you have the strength, you can wait there for your partner, but it has to touch at the same time. Once again, no rep here for our team on the right. Right, one man is going to hang, the other is going to do bar muscle ups. And uh, that again takes a lot out of the grip. You can see the battle really thought about this workout and uh, definitely trying to tax the grip there so that those rope climbs become a little bit more difficult. With only two minutes left, most of these athletes are in round three already. Remember, with the remaining time, they stay in round three. So they don't go back to round one, they stay in round three and that it becomes a uh, AMRAP with the remaining time of round number three. They got uh, the final minutes here. And they're starting to do what they can, what's left in the tank. They are gonna push the limits here. Great footage, those athletes are wrapping up their deadlifts. You can see they are feeling it right now. So interesting technique there, you see the man on the right without the t-shirt, he's bending his elbows just a little bit, and I would suggest not doing that. You put a lot of strain on those biceps, and you're gonna need those biceps when you're going into those rope climbs. And he has another single. Remember, you are allowed to have one athlete just do the deadlifts. However, I do think it might be a little bit detrimental because it puts a lot of strain on that athlete. And with only uh, 10 minutes, the people who are doing double might get way ahead of you uh, on that AMRAP. However, that is done and dusted. Heat number two here for our scale division. Next up, heat number three. Don't go anywhere. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notifications because you know exactly when we upload our next video.